Dave Meltzer has absolutely lost the plot. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And some guy, some jobber by the name of Ben Miller, no idea who he is, but let's just call him a jobber for the sake of the video, said, what to Dave Meltzer? What long-term successful company overpays talent? Tony isn't dumb, Dave. Then Dave Meltzer replied, the EPL. Now, for all our American viewers, which is a lot, the, the EPL is the English Premier League, which if you know your football, we're talking Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, City, Tottenham, Leicester, Brighton, you know, it's the top league in England. So essentially what Dave Meltzer's saying here is that the English Premier League is a long-term successful company which overpays its talent. The English Premier League is not a company, it is a league. You know, you get you get associations, right, at the top of football. I mean, I don't, they're never described as a company, right? Anyway, that's not what I'm getting into. I'm, not, I'm getting into the meats and potatoes here. The English Premier League, are the players ridiculously overpaid? Correct. Why are they overpaid, Dave? Why? Because the ratings and the TV deals that they have signed are insane. Because people want to watch the English Premier League. When you look at AEW, nobody wants to watch AEW. And despite that, they are getting paid way more than their counterparts who are smoking them in the ratings department. The English Premier League is the highest drawn football league in the world. That's that's not even up for debate. Now, there is other clubs in world football that will pay their players, right? More money than Premier League clubs. You know, I'm going to name it like Real Madrid. Maybe not Barcelona of recent years, PSG. Um, even Bayern Munich are paying Harry Kane quite a lot of money right now, but you know, I don't want to bore the non-football and fans here on Fog Wrestling, but the reality is the Premier League doesn't even pay the players. It's the it's at each individual football club. You know, it's the same with the NFL. You know, the Kansas City Chiefs pay Patrick Mahomes. It's not the league. You know, it's not the association. It's not the company. As Dave Meltzer puts it, this has to be one of the most bizarrest claims I've ever seen. Yeah, are they overpaying? But they're. But he says he says what long term successful company overpays talent, which is absolutely correct. Dave Meltzer's correct. It's long term and successful. But how could he? How could he? Dave Meltzer's agreeing that well, it can be done, Ben, because the English Premier League does. AW has been running for five years. The top flight in England when it switched to the Premier League in the early 90s, I mean, we're talking 30 odd years ago, it's been mad, it's been almighty in terms of successfulness, man. It's been, look look at it. It is the best league in the world in terms of viewership, money, and all that. You know, everybody talks about the Barclay, well, I don't even think called the Barclays Premier League anymore, but the top flight in England has got all the money, everything. And for Dave Meltzer to come out and compare it, man, this, this is insane. You know, absolutely. AEW would be better compared to the Saudi League, where their attendances are shocking, and they're just overpaid in a league that no one cares about. We've seen it before in football with the Chinese Super League. We've seen it now with the, the, the Saudi League. No one cares about those leaks, you know, it's just about, it's about sport washing and things like that, but for Dave Meltzer to actually turn around and say here that AEW can overpay talent and be long-term successful like the English Premier League is, I mean, we, we are talking, right, about a company that is getting like 700, 600k views, right, and it's on a good network. See the English Premier League? The, you know, we are talking billions of dollars, do well, billions of dollars, billions of pounds, whatever currency you want to use. We are talking an absolute lot here. And, and Dave Meltzer wants to stick his, you know, see if you don't have a clue what you're talking about and you don't know the subject that you're on, you, 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 stay, you steer clear of it. But Dave Meltzer has tried to compare the English Premier League to AEW, and I think this is his worst take yet. This is honestly worse than awarding Osprey and Pack the the inevitable twenty seven million stars that he's going to give it in the galaxy. Absolutely fucking insane.
Be Dave.